In order to upload scan data to your project, first you need to download and install the latest version of Sintu Connect here. With Sintu Connect installed and the data tab open, you can navigate to the Scans work zone and click Upload Scans from the drop down menu. This will automatically launch the Sintu Connect application. At the time of this recording, I'm using Sintu Connect version 1.14.2. In the application, there is a file and help menu here at the top. The static tab will be used to upload structured point cloud data, which is typically produced from tripod mounted terrestrial laser scanners. Here we can see the name of the project and name of the work zone in parentheses that we're uploading our data to. Use capacity shows the total number of scans that have been uploaded out of the total scan capacity under this account, as well as 360 panoramic images. And there's an option to select how many scans you would like the application to process at a time. This option depends on the number of processors your computer has. For scale factor, we recommend always leaving this value set to 1. On the rare occasion, where you would need to rectify the local project coordinates with the geological coordinate system used during the scanning process, for example, you do have the ability to modify the setting once you select a file to load. Select Input Files will let you choose a file to upload from your local hard drive. So we'll click here, and now we'll take some time to talk about supported file types. Sintu supports scan data uploads in E57 format, FLS or Scene project format, and Recap project format. If you're using registration software such as Leica Cyclone, Register360, or Trimble RealWorks, you will need to export the project as a structured E57 file in order to upload the scans to Sintu. If your point cloud registration is done in Faro Scene, you can upload the Scene project file. Sintu Connect will read the individual scans referenced by the project. If there are any edits made to the scan point clouds in the scene project, Sintu Connect will read the cleaned up scan data. Sintu Connect does not read the project point cloud during the upload process. And if Autodesk Recap was used to register the scan data, then you can upload the structured RCP file to Sintu. Since our sample project was captured with the Faro scanner and registered in Scene, we'll select the Scene Scan Project file and click Open. Sintu Connect will read the file and populate this window with the individual scans to be uploaded. If you receive a message like this after choosing a file, it means that the scan data is unified or unstructured. You can reference our online documentation or reach out to support at sintu.com for further assistance. We'll cover this remove deleted points checkbox a little bit later in the video. And the upload enable box allows you to control when Sintu Connect will upload your scans once they've been converted to 3D meshes. By leaving this checked, Sintu Connect will automatically upload and import the data to your project as soon as the point cloud to mesh conversion is completed for each individual scan. And clicking import will start the conversion and upload process. With all the individual scan files checked, I'll click import to start the point cloud to mesh conversion process. And with process in parallel set to two, Sintu Connect will process two scans at a time. Now I'll speed up the video as Sintu Connect runs through the conversion process. By leaving Upload Enabled checked, Sintu Connect will automatically upload the resulting 3D mesh to our project. When the process is complete, we can click OK on this message. It took about 16 minutes to convert and upload these 19 scans. Times may vary based on the number of scans, scan resolution, 
and the hardware specs of your computer. And a quick note here, in the Messages tab, you'll find messages and status updates regarding events that have occurred in the current session of the Sintu Connect application. So we can close out of Sintu Connect and refresh our browser window to see the scans in our Sintu project. We can click on a scan to see more information and use the arrows to cycle through the individual files. Clicking Play 3D will open the 3D view of the scan location in scan mode where we can see the high resolution 3D mesh that was created from the source point cloud file. For demonstration purposes, next I'll walk through the process of uploading the project as a recap file with deleted points. Here we've opened the recap file that was exported from our scene project, and we've identified an area that we would like to remove from the point cloud. We'll switch to a top view, and use the fence tool to select the area to be removed. With our selection made, we'll click the delete button to remove the points from the project. Now we'll save the project and make sure we click no thanks in this optimized project message. When the project is finished saving, we can close out of Recap and return to our Sentu project. In the Data tab, with our Scans Work Zone open, we can use the Versions feature to archive our original scan files in preparation for uploading the Recap project. To do this, we'll switch to List View, select all of our scans, and click and drag to move the scans to the exterior work zone because we know these are exterior scans. Now we'll open the exterior work zone and navigate to the versions tab. And here we can create a new version of this exterior work zone by clicking add new version. We'll name this version exterior underscore edit and click create. Now exterior edit will be set as the default version and will show up in our project browser. And the exterior version zero work zone will be archived. If we navigate back to the data tab, we'll see that the exterior edit work zone is empty and we can use this dropdown to toggle between previous and current versions of the work zone. Now we can click prepare and upload to import the recap project to the exterior edit work zone. We'll select the recap file from a local drive and make sure to check this remove deleted points checkbox. With all the scans selected, we can click import to start the process. I'll speed up the video again as the point cloud to mesh conversion and upload process completes. For comparison, this RCP file with deleted points took about 23 minutes to upload. We can click OK, close out of Sintu Connect, 
then refresh our browser window. With the exterior edit work zone active, we'll navigate to our 3D view, click to enter scan mode, and switch our display setting mode from 2D panoramic to 3D surface to view the high resolution mesh. We can see that the area that was deleted in our recap project is also removed from the resulting 3D mesh in Sintu. If we navigate to the overview map, we can organize our scans further by using the rectangle select tool to select multiple scans and using the work zones tool to assign them to a new sub work zone. We'll repeat the process for these remaining scans. With the fundamentals covered in this video, you should have a solid foundation for uploading static scans to your Sintu project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.